Armadillos are the only mammals with a body covered by a hard shell. They are also among the few mammals that lay eggs. Armadillos are named after the conquistadors, Spanish warriors, encased in steel armor. They are native to South America, but armadillos can also be found in Central and North America, as well as in Mexico. During the Pleistocene epoch, South and Central America was inhabited by glyptodons, giant relatives of modern armadillos. Glyptodon resembled a Volkswagen Beetle in size and dimensions. The body length of armadillo ancestors reached 3 meters. Now giant armadillos weigh about 32 kilograms and reach 1.5 meters in length the smallest armadillo is the cloaked armadillo, often no more than 15 centimeters in length. Sometimes armadillos are confused with pandolins, but pandolins, or lizards, are a separate group of placental mammals. Armadillos are animals that get their name from the armor that covers their body. It was this armor, consisting of bone plates, that allowed their ancient ancestors to survive. The shell of these animals is a bone that grows directly from their vertebrae. The strong armor reliably protects the animal's upper body, it consists of hard plates that are covered with a keratinized layer of skin. All this helps armadillos defend themselves from predatory animals. The plates are also located on the shoulders and hips. On the back, they consist of girdles, between which there is a leathery layer, which allows the animal to curl up into a ball in case of danger. But only one species of these animals can curl up into a ball to protect itself from attack. Armadillos that cannot curl up into a ball will either run away when attacked or dig a hole to hide in. The head, upper legs, and tail are also usually protected by armor. Therefore, the most vulnerable part of armadillos is the lower body, which has only a bristly hair cover. There are now about 20 species of these individuals and 9 genera, grouped as follows, bristleback, part panzer, globular, large, clad. Of the existing 20 species of armadillos, only one is found in North America. The others are found in South America. These critters live in rainforests, grasslands, and even in semi-arid areas, armadillos are cephalopods. This species is medium-sized, with a torso length of about 35 to 80 centimeters and a body weight of 36 to 40 kilograms. A distinctive characteristic of this species is the tail of the animal. It is not protected by bony excrescences. These animals have a wide muzzle with erect ears. Each limb has five toes, with the middle one being much larger than the others. Their bodies are covered with 9 to 13 mobile plates. Coloration is dark, almost black. The lifespan of this armadillo species in the natural habitat is 11 years. The survival rate in captivity is very low to nine-bellied is the most well-known and well-studied species of armadillos. These animals are highly adaptable to their environment, so they are found everywhere. Their range is wide, and they are common not only in most of the United States, but also in Mexico. Nine-banded armadillos like to dig burrows on riverbanks near green shrubs and trees, and they can also travel short distances swimming. For this peculiar they are called sea armadillos. The animal can hold its breath for up to five to seven minutes. Bristleback armadillos. Their characteristic feature is their small size, their body length rarely exceeding 45 centimeters. Their weight is 3.5 to 3 kilograms and their lifespan is about 10 years. Their body is covered with granular shields and has a large amount of hair. These animals have a light brown coloration. They appear both in the daytime and at night. Stubby armadillos feed on carrion, worms, and insects. They breed twice a year, and they have few pregnancies, giant or giant armadillos. Their body length is 1 meter and their tail is 50 centimeters. They weigh up to 60 kilograms. These animals have a tube-shaped snout and wide ears, and the number of teeth, which have no roots, reaches up to 100 pieces. They are found in open grasslands, savannas, and jungles. Cloaked armadillos are often found in central Argentina, Bolivia, and Chile. They live in dry grasslands with thorny shrubs. A mature specimen of these animals has a body length of 10 centimeters without a tail. Its tail is 2 to 3 centimeters, and its weight is 80 to 90 grams. These armadillos look small and defenseless. Their coloration ranges from delicate pink tones to dark, rich hues. Their small, oblong head and strong forelimbs are well suited for digging holes. These animals spend most of their time underground. They are active during the dark hours of the day. This species of armadillo is in danger of extinction. There are also dwarf species, their body size is 26 to 35 centimeters, weighing about 1 kilogram. Scientists cannot find out reliably how many teeth each armadillo species has. It is known that their jaws are not very powerful, and the rare teeth are peg-shaped and practically not covered with enamel. Such a structure is explained by the fact that animals eat soft food, 
which is digested in the stomach, the front part of which is covered with hard plates. The teeth have a single root and grow throughout the animal's life. Most armadillos are unable to curl up into a ball because they have too many plates that limit their flexibility. Armadillos are clumsy animals with elongated muzzles and huge, erect ears. They come in black, dark brown, gray, red, and even yellow. These animals are omnivores. A variety of insects and larvae form the basis of their diet, but armadillos can also eat plant food or carrion. Armadillos are excellent diggers, which is how they find food, namely insects as well as small mammals, roots, and fruits. In addition to digging, armadillos have a fantastic sense of smell for finding food. They can smell prey even underground. This compensates for the fact that they have very poor eyesight. Ants and termites are their special delicacies, they are not afraid of their bites, armadillos dig them out with their clawed paws. Their long sticky tongues help them suck up ants, including fire ants and termites. Their front and hind legs have three to five toes and large, sharp claws that help the critters dig into the ground and open anthills and termite mounds. Larger species may even break stumps or termites and then pick up their prey with their long tongue. Thanks to large salivary glands located on the lower jaw and reaching to the breastbone, the tongue is constantly covered with mucus. The animal eats up to 35,000 insects in one sitting. The most common armadillo species, the ninebelly, can eat about 40,000 ants in one sitting. Some species eat small invertebrates during the warm season and may also eat fruit. Sometimes they supplement their diet with eggs of birds that nest on the ground. These animals, despite the fact that they dig the ground in search of food, Food, spoil crops, and bring a lot of benefits, destroying harmful insects and their larvae. These animals have not very good eyesight and do not distinguish colors at all, but they have a fairly well-developed sense of smell and excellent hearing. It helps to recognize representatives of their own kind as well as to receive information about the readiness of the opposite sex to reproduce. Since armadillos belong to the group of mammalian animals, they are placental. The placenta is formed only during pregnancy, through it the fetus receives nutrients, the cells are oxygenated and hormones are produced which are responsible for fetal growth. The mating season occurs during the warm season, most often in July, which is the time when females are physiologically ready to mate. Conception occurs through sexual intercourse and often only one egg is fertilized. At the earliest stage, the embryo remains in the uterus for about 3 to 3.5 months, then implantation occurs and the fetus develops for another 4 months. Delayed implantation is necessary to ensure good survival of the offspring. The cubs are born in early spring, are well developed, and can move around on their own within a few hours after birth. Their shells are soft and harden only when they reach adulthood. For the first few months, newborns stay close to their mother, who feeds them with breast milk. Then, the older cubs leave the burrow and begin to learn adult foods. They are fully developed developed by the age of 3 to 4 years, depending on the sex. The majority of animals are nocturnal, but activity can vary depending on the weather and the age of the armadillo. Young animals may leave their dens early in the morning or closer to noon. During the cold season, animals are also active during the day. No other mammal family has such a variable number of teeth, from 28 to 40, the giant armadillo has up to 90 to 100 teeth. The number of teeth varies not only in different species, but also in different individuals. Because of their thin carapace and small fat layer, armadillos cannot maintain their internal temperature as most other mammals do. On Earth, among non-human mammals, only armadillos and mice are infected with leprosy. Infection is most likely promoted by the armadillo's low body temperature, 32 degrees Celsius, which is favorable for Hansen's bacilli. Throughout their lives, female armadillos give birth to an average of about 56 cubs. Nine-breasted armadillos are of great interest to science because they usually give birth to four identical twins. Because of their complete identity, a group of four armadillos is an excellent subject for medical, genetic, psychological, and other studies requiring homogeneous test subjects. These animals are almost always found singly, very rarely are they seen in small groups. Armadillos live in warm sandy soil by digging burrows. Burrows of these animals can be quite deep, up to five to seven meters, they have various branches and passages, and the bottom of their dwellings is covered with dry leaves. Armadillos can sleep for 16 to 18 hours a day. Armadillos spend most of the day in their burrows and go out to eat at night. They move slowly and carefully, stopping often to sniff the air. Their gait looks a bit clumsy. Hind limbs rest on the foot and forelimbs on the tips of the claws. Moving quickly is also hampered by a thick, heavy shell, but in the case of a attacked by predators are able to develop speed and quickly hide in a burrow or in dense bushes. Armadillos are the object of hunting. Their white meat, which tastes like pork, 
has been considered a delicacy by the peoples of Latin America since ancient times. From their carapace, the indigenous inhabitants of South America made roofs for huts. A kind of durable tile was obtained. Armadillo shells are traditionally used to make a South American lute-type instrument called a charango. Armadillos are often hit by automobiles at night. In this case, nine-bellied armadillos are ruined by the bouncing reflex. When frightened, this animal jumps up almost vertically and hits the chassis of a moving car. Armadillos often fall prey to various animals – wolves, coyotes, bears, lynxes, and jaguars. In a number of countries, these animals are protected by the state and several species are even listed in the Red Book, but in spite of that, they continue to be exterminated. This is especially true for the giant species, which have become quite rare. More often you can see small individuals, 18 to 80 centimeters long. Male armadillos, proving their superiority to the opposite sex, can put up fights. They try to topple their opponent on his back to gain access to the most unprotected places. In dangerous moments, these critters press themselves tightly to the ground and press their limbs into the shell. In stressful situations, female armadillos can suspend labor for up to two years. If an armadillo encounters an obstacle under which it cannot climb, then it will do its best to climb over it, like the most accomplished climber. One species of armadillo can scream loudly when threatened. It is a long-haired armadillo. When these animals dig holes, they don't breathe so that the earth doesn't get into their airways. Life expectancy of animals varies from 7 to 20 years, with a higher survival rate in captivity than in the wild. Moreover, young individuals have a lower survival rate. Climate conditions, drought, too high or too low temperatures can cause death of young. Predatory animals, an important point that increases mortality of calves that have a soft shell and poor physical stamina. Diseases and infections greatly reduce survival rates. Also significantly reduces population size and lifespan by being hunted by humans and destroying their habitat. Armadillos, along with bonobo chimpanzees and humans, are mammals that mate in a missionary position. After death, the armadillo's sexual organs remain active for some time. Armadillos are not afraid of people and can climb into houses in search of food supplies. The bristle-tailed armadillo is known to build its dwelling not with its sharp claws but with its head. The animal digs it into the ground and begins to turn, as if twisting into it. This is how it not only digs a hole but also gets food and eats it at the same time. Armadillos can hold their breath, which allows them to hide from predators at the bottom of a body of water, through which they move on foot. Armadillos can reach speeds of up to 48 kilometers per hour. This helps them escape from predators almost effortlessly. The armadillo was the mascot of the 2014 World Cup and it was the only species that can curl up into a ball.